thank you for speaking with us here on France 24. My, my pleasure, of course. <laughs> um, are, are you a believer in convalescent plasma? Well, belief is a matter of faith. I like to think about things, and the enthusiasm that we've just heard really does go beyond the data. We have a substantial amount of information that has been assembled kind of uncritically, not in a rigorous trial, which would suggest that convalescent plasma may indeed be efficacious in some patients. But what we need is good, strong evidence. What we have is grade C evidence. We need grade A to be able to determine which patients benefit, if any, how much they benefit, and what the appropriate dose of convalescent plasma is. We don't have that information yet. Ongoing trials are recruiting patients into these placebo-controlled trials, and the other side of the coin of the emergency use authorization is that maybe it'll be harder now to recruit patients into those trials because they've heard the enthusiasm of the political leadership. Yeah, becoming uh, it becoming political. You 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 say who would need it if if it does prove effective? What what how exactly would this be used? Well, you know it's been used in over seventy thousand patients already. You get the plasma from people who have recovered from COVID. They have those circulating proteins called antibodies. We would like to hopefully treat patients shortly after they're admitted to the hospital, before they get too sick, before they need the intensive care unit. That's the target population that most of this convalescent plasma has been aimed at. And how effective it is, we're still not certain, but we have hints that it might well work. We need more concrete information. It's been more than six months since uh, COVID-19 spread across the globe. Are we still at the phase, doctor, where you could, sh we should perhaps be, I don't know, throwing caution slightly to the wind and throwing the kitchen sink at whatever, you know, trying everything we can? Actually, moving forward in a rigorous fashion is always the best way to go, whether you're evaluating treatments or vaccines to prevent, because you don't want to be left in a never-never land where you're not really sure whether this works or not. Doing it rigorously always pays off. Just look at hydroxychloroquine. The initial uh, enthusiasm was abated, right? Once we had the rigorous trials to show it really doesn't work. We need good data. Need good data. Uh, Dr. Schaffner, you hinted at it in your first answer. I mean, this happening on the eve of the start of the Republican convention, was there a political timing to uh, this uh, announcement from the government? Well, it sure seems that way. I'm just a country doctor, but from where I sit, it looks as though this, as much of the response to COVID, has been politicized, I'm afraid.